We are now broadcasting from the radio studio in Stares Agora, Bulgaria. Our radio program is produced by Center for European Initiative and supported by Erasmus Plus, a program of the European Commission. Our radio shows are designed and performed by volunteers that are hosted in Bulgaria thanks to European Voluntary Service and European Solidarity. <laughs> Hello guys, it's good to be here again. So how are you today? It's a good weather outside. I don't know if you are seeing, but just open the window and see how cold it is. It's my favorite weather in the world. That's because my favorite smell in the world is uh, coffee and cake in the house. So with th this weather, I'm always doing coffee and cake in my house. So it's uh, time to getting fat. <laughs> so guys, this week I have a surprise for you. I will talk about one of my favorite countries. And I don't know if you, if you know which country is it? I told you it's a surprise, but <laughs> it's Japan. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And I will put some songs. These songs I choose um, with uh, so much love because I really love each which one of these songs and I hope you enjoy it too. And I will talk about uh, two legends, uh, my favorite two. And I hope you enjoy it, guys. So here you go, the first song. And I hope you already have your coffee there. If you don't, you have time. Oh, what a soft song, guys. I really love this song. I could, I could hear it all day. Actually, I did. When I was a kid, I used to listen to Japanese songs my whole day because I... Uh, my only concern was school, so I got time to watching this kind of animes, and that's how I, I met this culture, actually. And then I started to watch some Japanese movies, and I was really fascinated with this culture, because uh, most of the legends you will see this week, I hope, uh, is about charity is about uh, this value uh, that I love so much and we need more of this in our days so one once uh, I met this culture I was uh, completely in love with this and I got this for all my life so these songs I still have in my playlist and sometimes I just want to sit down, have a coffee or a cup of tea and listen a little bit to relaxing. It makes me relax so much. So I told you guys, uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of animes and one of the animes uh, was uh, when I met this legend and with a, with a, a mind of a child, I was so sad to listen to this legend because it is sad, but uh, when I grew up, I finally understood what is it about. So I hope you understand like me. This legend is called The Foolish Traveler in the World. And this legend begins with a foolish traveler who has gone in a journey. He was foolish because it was fooled by everyone that he met. So he gave all his money to a lady pretending to be sick and needing for medicine. And he gave his shoes for another traveler and his clothes and everything. But the foolish traveler was always glad to help and keep giving everything he have saying 
I wish you happiness. But there was a point that the traveler was completely naked. Ashamed to have nothing to cover him, he decided to go to the dense forest where nobody could see him. But the foresty animals appeared claiming for food. Of course the traveler was fooled. First, he left the animals eat one of his legs, then the arms, and then more and more, until he left just with the head. So the last animal asked for him his eyes, and the traveler gave it too. While he was eating his eyes, the animal just said, Thank you, traveler. In return, I will leave you this gift. But the animal left just a piece of paper writing full on it. But the traveler could see it because he hasn't eyes anymore. So he didn't know what it is it. So he started to cry so happy and said, Thank you. This is the first gift everyone ever gave me. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. And without his eyes, his, he cried great tears of joy. And the traveler died. His smile is still on his face. I hope you like it, this song, guys, because it's one of my favorite animes in the world. It's called One Piece. Uh, there's a lot of people who doesn't like One Piece. There's a lot of people who loves One Piece. It's a big anime. And there's a lot of people who doesn't like animes. So, if you like animes, you enjoy this show today because it's been so good for me to do it. Uh, I'm listening to a lot of songs that uh, I don't listen for a long time ago. When I was uh, younger, I used to love this kind of animes and I haven't, I haven't so much friends who like those Japanese cartoons. I was like a, a weird kid. So the other day I was talking with some students and it's a new generation now. So I just talk about uh, some anime, I don't remember exactly how, and they was just so exciting, uh, ex asking me my favorite anime because they like a lot of animes, and saying some animes I, I already s saw, so I was just, the kids are, are really watching animes today, and it's the old animes, it's not uh, the new one, just the new one, so I was really ex inspired and I I got home and decided to make this week because it will be really nostalgic for me so I prepared a lot of songs now I will put this just for you relaxing and thinking about about your childhood even if you don't like animes you will just get a chance for it because it's a uh, really nice songs so I hope you enjoy it and I will be back in a couple minutes to tell about another legend hey guys I need to admit I'm having a good time here today and I hope you are enjoying the the songs I selected for you if I put everything I want I will have a really long show so I promise I will not put everything <laughs> so we still have another day this week and I can show all the rest of the songs. If you like some, I'll try to put more of this. Uh, so guys, uh, I just have a question for you today. Uh, did you ever look for the full moon at night and saw a rabbit? Yeah, I know it's a weird question, but if you if you did i'm glad to tell you you are in love so uh, i will explain don't worry uh second of um uh asian legend 
Uh, we have a rabbit in the moon because the rabbit uh, was falling in love to the goddess of the moon, Cheng Yi. I don't know exactly if it is the way to spell this name, but uh, they say the rabbit is still there, just preparing the elixir for eternal life for, for his lover. The other version is that version, we will talk about it now, is the Japanese version. And surprise is about charity. That's why I think it's the beautiful, 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 beautiful legend I ever heard. And I knew it when I was a kid too. It was a book of legend and I was really fascinated about it because I, I, I was uh, at night and I look at the moon and I really saw a rabbit. I swear you guys, there's a rabbit there. So, this legend is called Tsuki no Uzagi and it means a rabbit in the moon. One night, the man on the moon came down to earth disguised as a beggar. He chanced upon a fox, a monkey, and a rabbit, the Uzagi, and asked for some food. So, the fox brought him fish from a stream, and the monkey brought fruit from the trees. But the rabbit couldn't only offer grass. So the rabbit told the beggar to build a fire, and when it was built, threw herself onto the flames to offer himself to the man. So, amazed by the rabbit's generosity, the beggar transformed back into the man on the moon and pulled the rabbit from the fire. To honor the rabbit's kindness, the man on the moon carried the rabbit back to the moon to live with him. Now, if you look at the full moon, you can see the outline of the rabbit pounding mochi. Mochi is a traditional food, uh, it's a rice cake. So, guys, I think it's beautiful and I swear it's true. <laughs> just take a look on the moon today. And if you see something like this, just let me know. Um, I will put uh, the last song. It's from the anime Naruto. Most of you guys know it because it's really famous and it is my favorite song from this anime because I think the, the song passes a, a, good, a good thing about life. So you will understand because part of this is uh, in English. I hope you enjoyed my song and um, See you guys, or better saying, Arigatou gozaimasu, minasan.